Good evening, YouTube! I haven't done a video in a minute, uh, so tonight I think I'm just going to run through a few animals. I'm going to try to pick some stuff that you really haven't seen a lot of. I have my favorites, and I show those kind of frequently and give you the updates. Um, you've seen the pied stuff, you've seen the different odds and ends. Um, but I've got a few animals that really don't fall into a category that I've picked up that I just, I, I like, or I've held back uh, from last year or the year before. And why not just show you what's going on? So stick around and check it out. All right, so this first girl we're looking at, this is a super pastel yellow belly, 100% uh, het for clown. Um, she was produced in 2017 and uh, have two of these two females and they are chowing food lately yeah that's just amazing what a great looking animal super pastel yellow belly 100% heifer All right so this is a GHI red stripe she is starting to go into shed here you can see she is a little smoky we picked this girl up from Justin Kabelka. And she's doing really well. She's starting to gain some size. Starting to look good. GHI Red Stripe. All right, this next girl, uh, this is an Enchi Sugar. Uh, we picked up from Mike Wilbanks a bit ago. She's been a bit of a picky eater. Um, she was a mouser for a while. She just transitioned to rats. And uh, is starting to really put on some weight. So it'll be good to see what uh, what she can give us coming in the future. Another girl is doing really good. This is a pastel inchy leopard yellow belly. She is possible het for pied and ghost. This was another problem feeder for a while. She was only eating mice. Uh, recently got her transition to rats. She's been stacking on some decent weight lately. So we're really excited to get her up to weight and start uh, uh, pairing her. Let's see what happens with her. Pastel Enchi Leopard Yellow Belly, Posset Pied and Ghost. All right, this girl here, this is a Cypress Mojave that we picked up from Always Evolving Pythons. Miguel and Tina. This girl is just ridiculously amazing. The contrast, the darkness, the way the pattern floats on the sides. Like, this girl is gonna be nuts. Um, she's really, really stacked on some weight. She's right around 14, 1500 grams and should be ready to go the end of this year. So we'll see what happens. Cypress Mojave. So this is another nice girl. This is an Orange Dream Extreme Gene. Picked this girl up from Ken Masick. Steady feeder, no problems with her. Been a ratter ever since she's been here. Eats really good. Extreme Gene. And this is a Butter Extreme Gene, also from Ken Masick. I think this girl's about to go into shed. She usually has a ton of bright color. She looks good. Butter Extreme. Yeah, there's Aniston. Yeah, this is the pastel desert ghost female we picked up at Tinley a, a couple years ago. Well, a couple shows ago, we'll put it that way. And uh, uh, we had met, oh, maybe as more than two, I don't know. It's been a minute. Um, she's an on and off feeder, like she'll eat rats, but it's just here and there. And uh, you know, so she's been slow to grow. She's been hitting them pretty hard lately. 
and just let off of them again. I don't know, she's a weird feeder, as is most ball pythons. But anyway, really looks good. Can't wait to get her into the breeding program. Pastel Desert Ghost. Doggy, that looks good. And this is the last one we're gonna take a look at tonight. Um, we'll produce this one at the tail end of 2018. This is a, believe it or not, this is just a pastel 100% hat for clown. The, the contrast is ridiculous. The blacks are so black. The yellows are so clean and so bright. Um, I've had several people look at her and uh, everybody seems to think there's something else going on with her. Um, but based on the pairing, which was a pastel banana to a pastel clown, um, there's nothing that I can explain other than she is just phenomenal. So we're going to leave you guys with that. And uh, man, does she look good. It almost looks like there's OD in there. Just ridiculous. Guys, there you go. That is a quick look at some of the girls. I tend to show all the girls. We're going to have to get into some of the boys next time and just show you some of the boys we have that is really kind of spearheading a lot of the breeding stuff. So there's a good idea. <clears throat> I'm, I, it's just habit. <clears throat> I like pulling out of these racks. So we pull our girls and show you the girls that were growing up. Um, so unless we've done like a, a pied video or something like that, you guys don't get a chance to see a lot of the, the males that we have. So maybe uh, the next go around, we'll pick out a few males and we'll kind of go through them and uh, show you the males that we're putting to some of these girls and to see what comes out of that. Um, we on 622, I won't be there, uh, but Matt is going to be at the Massachusetts um, Reptile Expo, I think. Uh, don't have the words right. Um, and it's in a different location. So it's actually, we looked it up for travel time and it's going to be a lot further um, than it has been in the past. Um, it is south of Boston. Um, we have our tickets. We're going to be there. Uh, we've got a combined travel thing we're going to do with Monroe Morphs. Um, and Baller's Garage is going to be at our table anyway. So um, the hatchling racks that we picked up or we had custom made these guys here that hold the v18s um so far we've been using them here and they're phenomenal uh the temperature is spot on like it is is dead nuts um i can i i will temp gun inside the bin and it is exactly what what reads up here um so the transference in the the way the probe is set up um, which is a little unique um, there is a groove so in this in this plastic on each level on the whole rack and each level on the whole rack there is a little groove uh, if you will in the back so you can choose where you want to put your probe whether you're gonna put it in the middle of this whole rack um, he, he'll work with you and split them top and bottom um, so that you can um, split it and you can have like a, two, a dual controller up here for each one and do a top and bottom control. Uh, you know, he'll work with you, do whatever you want. So I, I wasn't really sure about how, they, uh, how that probe would read being underneath um, the heat tape. Uh, but I'll tell you, so far... Uh, I've been gunning them like every day and, and on all different levels and it's been 100% true of what I read in the bin to uh, what what we read up here. So i um, extremely pleased with this as far as what it's reading and how all that works. Uh, again, construction is really good. A lot of times the, the black stuff, you know, the front edges or the cut edges will be a little bit of a different color. Uh, once they're cut, these are all very dark, at least now. They're still new. Um, that may change with age. They may fade. Um, I'm not overly concerned with that. Um, but it, it's still good. The gapping is, is good. They slide nice. And, and again, that the most important thing is that your heat uh, it reads, like your heat tape it reads correctly or as close to correctly as possible. I mean, you can always 
you know, temp gun it, and then if you gotta bump your, your controller up or down or whatever, you can do that, that's not a big deal, but um, it's nice when it is really, really close to uh, as 100% accurate as you can get. Um, now there is probably about a half a degree difference between the top and the bottom. Now this may be different for me because I'm on a second floor, I have, I have carpet and you know, that kind of stuff. So that may help with maintaining some of those temperatures as opposed to being in a facility that's a concrete floor or if you're in a basement or whatever. But anyway, Baller's Garage will be with us. That's Dave. Uh, so he'll be at our table. Um, I don't know if we'll have space on the table for some caging, but he is going to be bringing some stuff. Um, so that'll be there for you guys to take a look at. You can put your hands on it, see how it's, how it's constructed. Uh, what it looks like on the inside and on the back side all that and uh yeah so 622 we'll be at the uh, the massachusetts show uh that'll be uh, a lot of fun <laughs> for matt um i will be on a plane flying to hawaii to see my son and his wife and my granddaughter and we have a tattoo planned and booked and all that stuff so that trip will be pretty cool as well i will be uh filming lots of parts and pieces of all that and hopefully be able to put together like one nice uh, decent little video of the trip uh, for you guys so you can kind of come along with us in the rears or not whatever like afterwards whatever it, anyway so yeah you'll get to see kind of some of the stuff we see and then go from there so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, again a quick look at some of the different stuff that we have here that we are going to be uh pairing hopefully we'll make weight the end of the season uh, most of them are pretty you know they'll be at age come november december so um long as they hit weight we'll be good to go and we'll have a lot of cool stuff coming your guys way so thanks thanks again everybody for um dialing in spending some time with us and we'll see you guys on the next video peace good evening youtube yeah, it's a little lame. You guys deserve better than that. Let's do it again. Do it again. Good evening, YouTube! That's still a little lame.